Okay, so many people seem to be inquiring as to how to get Siri to automatically speak the text messages when they come in without having to touch the iPhone or say read messages. And what I found out was um, that you can use voiceover, which is what the blind girl in the Siri video, uh, the commercial rather, at the end of the commercial, you'll see the iPhone turn on and say message from Sandy Chen and then she didn't even have to touch the iPhone to get that message. So that is a voiceover from the uh, settings tab. We'll go into the menu, we'll hit uh, general, and then we'll go down to um, accessibility. And then you have your first option is voiceover. So if you hit voiceover, right now it's off if you turn it on. Voiceover on. She'll, she'll now Voice speak over. everything that's on the screen. Back button. And it, you really have to get used to it because it doesn't function anymore um, with the regular um, functionality with touching the screen. Everything now is a little bit different. So I usually, when I just uh, want to hear the messages being read, I usually just leave it like this. Turn it off. You're going to see she's going to say, screen's going to be locked. Screen locked. Okay, and then I usually just leave it like this until a message comes on. Um, I can't duplicate it right now, but when a message comes in, it'll pop on and it'll say message from so-and-so um, at this time, and then it will read the message without me having to do anything. Now, it's a little bit of a pain because your next option will be... Slide to unlock. Slide to, slide to unlock. See, I can slide to unlock Settings. right now. Voiceover. Accessibility. However, button. it's reading everything on the screen. However, um, when you get a message and you go to unlock it, it won't let you unlock it, it just says slide to reply. And then it's a little tough to navigate around. It's not really that hard, it just takes a little bit of figuring out and you have to get really get used to it. But every time you have to touch uh, basically what you want, Voice over. And, on. and then to activate it you touch it twice anywhere on the screen. Voice over off. Okay, so it's it's not bad when you do it like this, but when you get a notification you're going to have to get into the messages and then from there it's a little bit of work there's a lot of tapping going on um, if you just want it to be read it you know and if you're gonna get a lot of them in and you're not gonna reply right away it might be worth it but that's really the only way that you can get messages read to you from Siri without touching the iPhone I recommend just holding down the home button for two seconds and then when Siri gets connected you just say read messages or uh, you know new text messages and then she'll read them for you which is kinda nice a lot of times you don't want to touch the button or if you're driving or something if your hands are busy or something just um, you know just uh, turn the voiceover on again that's settings that's voiceover and then uh, you just turn it on I'm sorry it's accessibility it's um, settings general scroll down to accessibility and then click on voiceover and then of course she'll start and there, there are different options how fast she speaks she can speak really fast um, it's a little hard to understand sometimes but I usually leave it uh, down pretty low okay and that's uh, that's pretty much it so that's how you can get the iPhone to speak to you uh, messages and emails she'll read complete emails too uh, the entire thing um, it's just that uh, you know you it's a little difficult to reply you're gonna have to get back to the settings and then undo it and basically turn the voiceover off if you if you want to reply it's a little bit easier that way all right so thanks for watching leave comments and subscribe catch you next time